Welcome back YouTube family and heroes. This is Christian back in another video just for all of you guys. Man, this is, it is exciting y'all, it is going down. We have all of these parts and pieces that we're gonna be installing at PRE Racing today. We have a lot of stuff that's going on the Supra. Like I said, this is a stage one uh, build. I wanna show you guys exactly what you can do with literally $1,000 in parts and mods and how these Supras can look for cheap. But man, I am, whew, these blackouts, oh man, so much better. The black on the sides, the black on the sides, and then the red in the back, and then the bumper. If you guys haven't seen the last video, Man, this makes the Super Bumper look so much better, y'all. Like, so much better. Let me show you guys. Oh, man, like, look how aggressive that rear looks. It definitely looks like a new bumper. It almost looks aftermarket. It's crazy how just kind of blacking out and making the Fusion look much more aggressive really adds to the styling of the Supra. Anyway, if you guys like the video, hit the like button. Go follow the drain the subscribe button. We're gonna get right into the video. We're not gonna spend too much time before uh, all these mods. I just wanna show you guys exactly how it looks before and I wanna do uh, how we look after. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get to it. Bruh, this thing, it just feels even better. Uh, it's what the windows and the mirror looks like. This is what the wing looks like in the back. Let's see if I can get a little glimpse of that for you guys. So you can still definitely see. Uh, this is what it looks like, like I said, in the, in the mirror and the reflection. It looks good, it sounds good. For a $50,000 car, man, it's hard to find something that's better than this in the market. Beautiful sceneries out here. Lots of driving roads for me to uh, get you guys some video content. But damn, man, I'm excited, bro. I am so hyped, so hyped, man. Thank you guys, man, for the support. Damn, this is hype. All right, heroes, so we're back. Uh, we got the car back from PRE Racing. One more time, shout out to PRE Racing for doing an amazing job on the car and the installs. What I wanna do, actually, that's gonna be different with this video and a few other videos are gonna be coming. I actually wanna go ahead and make this a two-part video talking about the installs. This is actually a few days later um, of the installs. We actually time skipped a little bit when you guys see this video. But what I wanna go ahead and do is review how I like these installs. Do I think they fit the car? Is this stuff that I think you guys should do? You know, I see a lot of videos of just the install process and then that's it. You don't hear anything else about the parts. You don't hear anything else about pretty much how I feel about the car or my reviews of them. Do they help? Do they not help? So in this video, we're gonna do a part one, which is all the front. We actually have some more modifications that we're gonna be doing on the car. Some more parts came in. Uh, so that's gonna be happening in the next video. But the first video right now, we're just going to be doing a review of the overall front. So like the splitter, we're gonna review the mirror caps um, and just the front look of the car. So this is actually going to be the front splitter. It's actually the Maxton Design V1 version. Personally, I love the V1 better. The V2 is a little bit smaller. And it doesn't kind of have this nice little like fin on the side. I think that really gives a nice aggressive stance to it. I just wanted to go nice and black to kind of match the lip uh, and then make it look that much more aggressive. The V2 is almost like a smaller version of this. Like it just goes like, it's much smaller. So it's a much more subtle type of spoiler uh, lip. But I was a big fan of the Seabon splitter. Uh, and lip and this is very similar to the Seabon except the middle part is a little bit more uh, Extended now my review like I said, this is a great close-up as far as you can see how much more uh, In length it is compared to the stock lip. I think this is the perfect size. It's not super aggressive But it's not super small either. I think this is a really good look. I thought about you know paint matching the side skirts, the front splitter, and the rear stuff. All right, let me go ahead and get down so you guys can really see. This is very simple. Uh, PRE did a great job of just bolting up um, the lip. Got nice bolts, got those sturdy bolts too, especially we're in the Pacific Northwest, so they got like that good stuff that won't rust and won't break off. But this is kind of an idea as a lip. It's basically like the exact same size as the front uh, bumper right there. So it doesn't stick out too much, and I think it makes an aggressive face, um, an aggressive front for the car. I love how Maxon Design made this uh, and how they manufactured it. 
It sticks out slightly more in the front bumper, but not like super much. And I love how this part right here kind of flows uh, with the stock lit part and it really kind of just adds more aggressiveness to the front. Now the perfect compliment, I believe, for the Maxon Design front lip is going to be these M-style mirror caps. Um, these go really, really well. If you guys haven't already seen before, from my previous video, I got these wind um, kind of buffer uh, to help out. I got them in gloss black because I knew I was gonna be getting a black mirror and a lot of my stuff in gloss black. So this is a very nice OEM plus uh, style right here. I think this came out so so dope and the M mirrors right here kind of how they have like this fin on the side I love how they looked on the M2s and the M4s uh, and everything uh, That people have but that kind of fin matches perfectly to this So I think if you guys are gonna go with this this is the perfect complement again a lot of people want to get carbon fiber You know carbon fiber carbon fiber I wanted to go with a nice like really, really dope, really just white and black color look for it. So I think the mirror cap and the front splitter do a really, really great job as far as complementing each other and looking really, really good. So overall, from the last video, if you guys didn't already see it as well, I did get these um, wrapped in gloss black. So they do have like that mirror kind of look. So they do look glossy. They have a mirror reflection to them and just everything flows to me personally with the black, the black, and the black. And then also this is black too. And this right here, it's kind of like a matte black, but it does look really, really nice with all the other black that you guys see on the car. In the comments below, guys, in the comments below, let me know what you guys think as far as the front look. I love this. I think this makes the car look really meaner and wider on the front. I think that just fits the car. It's not super like over the top, but it fits very, very well. I know some people like to keep, you know, the red so they can tell it's a launch edition, uh, but I think this fits perfectly with the body styling, with the curves, with the lines of the car. Uh, I think having that now in that black instead of the red really kind of makes the car look much more, I would say expensive, much more luxurious, uh, but it fits the body lines a lot better. The mirrors definitely fit. Uh, but in the comments below, let me know what you guys think as far as this. Uh, we're gonna get into the part two. Part two is gonna be me talking about the rear portion of the car. I got a bunch of rear stuff done that <laughs> makes the car look completely different. And we have some more interior bits coming to the car as well. Uh, but let me know, like I said, in the comments below, how do you guys like the front of the vehicle? And hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I always keep saying, guys, go after your dreams and make them reality and be your own hero because the world is more heroes and all the power to be one. Let's have a good one, guys. Let's get it. Peace.